Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of the Leadership Speak series of L Forum. Today, I have the uh, honor and privilege of welcoming a classmate of mine, uh, Joe Torsivia, principal of Torcon. Hi, Joe. Welcome to the show. Hey, Ringo. Thanks for having me. I was born and raised in New Jersey. I um, live here right now with my, my wife and son. I went to uh, Lehigh as an undergrad, studied economics. I started as a finance major and turned off by sort of the regimented curriculums. Saw a brochure on the wall for a semester at C program, and I ended up filling out that application for that program instead of studying for the test. Uh, I don't remember what I got on the test, but I, I remember just about every minute of the five months I spent at C. Um, so I sailed from Singapore to South Africa, got my captain's license, uh, came back, finished up school at Lehigh, and I got a job as a foreign exchange derivatives broker uh, in New York City. I left that job on Wall Street. I started my MBA, um, my first semester of my MBA program. And while I was doing that, I needed something to pay the bills. So um, my father said, why don't you come in and work for Torcon? It's our, our family's business. I never really thought I would end up here. Being at Torcon for a few years, I, I really thought to myself, hey, you know, there's going to be a time when uh, my father's going to want to retire. And if, if I might, um, you know, be able to run this business one day, I got to make sure I know as much as I possibly can. And that's what led me to go back and get a doctorate from Drexel. And that's where I met Ringo. I was always somebody who was never really afraid of embarrassing themselves or, or asking a dumb question or, or doing something silly. So I was usually somebody who volunteered or took the initiative to, um, you know, jump in feet first. And I think that's probably where some of my leadership uh, style or ability comes from is, you know, I, I like to lead by example. My journey as a leader is is a bit different, I would imagine, than some other ones, but, you know, the people ask me what I do at Torcon and I, I can boil it down. You know, I ask silly questions. Um, and the reason I do that is because if that silly question has a simple answer, then, it, okay, it was silly and we move on. But if, if all of a sudden that sparks a conversation and somebody has to defend um, their answer or, or it takes a second to think about, you know, why we do this that way, or why did we approach the, the project in this um, fashion, then maybe I asked a good question. We hire probably six or seven kids right out of college every year, and we we try to really grow the organization that way. We, we love to promote from within, um, and we're really lucky that people like to stick around Torcon for as long as they do. And you know, I think the resources that the younger generation has at their disposal, because we have all these veterans who are always willing to take the time out of their day to answer these questions, is um, is really phenomenal. The time that our our veterans take to really mentor and nurture the younger generation is, um, it's fantastic. Being an entrepreneur, it's nothing complicated. It's, it's doing something nobody else is doing. Entrepreneur is about having, having the right mindset. And I think the first step into that mindset is to really question everything. If, if you see somebody doing something a certain way, don't, don't assume that that's the best way to do it or the right way to do it or the most effective way to do it. Ask some basic questions to yourself. Say, you know, what does a successful end result look like in this situation? Why don't we take a step back? Let's think about this. Let's ask some silly questions and see if we get, get anywhere and see if we discover anything we can do better or differently. You know, let's ask some other people for ideas. Let's go out to some of these younger people who haven't been exposed all that long and see what they think about this or how they think we should go about it. And maybe we'll come up with something new and better. And there are always a lot, especially for those trying to maybe disrupt the way of doing things. I think the biggest challenge, and this one is, is definitely a challenge for me, but I think would be a challenge for most is, is really convincing others that um, your ideas are worth supporting or your ideas are worth investing in. If, if you're somebody who's trying to raise capital for a new company, you're, you're seeking investors. Or if you work for an organization and you're trying to um, maybe change the path of, of their, their going down or, or the way they do things, you, you got to convince others that it's, it's worthwhile to, to look at your idea. You know, it, in our industry, coming up with new ways to do it isn't hard, but convincing people that those new ways are better than their current ways is a bit of a challenge. You know, we have a lot of um, 
the labor, the trades on the job sites. They, they learned how to do something when they went to trade school and they know how to do something a certain way. And now you're trying to change the way they do it. They're not going to be very receptive. You know, if I, if I didn't take some of the risks I did, I wouldn't be where I am. So I think my number one uh, piece of advice would be to, to don't, don't worry too much about it. If, if it seems like it's a, a bit of a risk, you know, take the leap, have some faith in yourself. But my biggest piece of advice is just trust yourself and, and have confidence and, and don't be afraid to take that leap because more often than not, good things come out of it. Wish you all the very best and wish you and Torque on all the very best. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Ringo. Speak soon. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe to the EL Forum channel. Click the link below to enjoy the full video.